December 7, 1941 was a day etched in history as the Pearl Harbor attack sent shockwaves across the United States. The surprise strike served as a stark reminder that the enemy could strike from any direction, leaving the nation on high alert. It was a wake-up call, a realization that the unexpected could unfold on any coast. As the threat of German U-boats loomed, South Jersey found itself at the forefront of concern. Nestled at the mouth of the Delaware River, it became a prime target. Military officials speculated that Germany might send U-boats to Philadelphia, aiming for its crucial navy yard. In the early 1940s, as the world grappled with the shadows of war, the Atlantic coast of the United States stood unprotected. It was May 21st, 1941, and New Jersey was bracing for potential invasion. The 44th Division, a force of 16,000, positioned themselves along the New Jersey Peninsula, from Atlantic City to Wildwood, preparing for the worst. Major General Clifford R. Powell, the division commander, left nothing to chance. Troops lined the beaches, observers took positions in the shore hotels, and intelligence reports hinted at possible enemy actions from overseas. Other brigades, like the 87th, defended the area between Great Bay and Ocean City. Alongside them was the 157th Field Artillery, aimed with 75mm cannons. They were standing there ready to destroy any possible threat on the water. Meanwhile, the 47th Brigade Combat Team, under Colonel McCarthy, moved to the Bell Plain State Forest to establish a command post. This command post would take in information from all the installations and create a plan, something in case if the Germans did land, they could move their resources around to try to stop them. Forces were also deployed to safeguard the southernmost part of the state. Defensive measures included coil wire installations around Cape May Point and demolitions. These were set up to stop the enemy if they tried to land. As tensions gripped the region, strict blackout rules were enforced. Civilians and troops alike adhered to these measures, operating in the shadows. And for the first time in history, American schoolchildren were brought face to face with the grim reality of war. Lanterns were shaded to escape air observation, and truck movements occurred under the cover of night. Troops remained on high alert because there could be a sudden development. But the invasion never materialized. May 21st, 1941 marked a five-day staged event, a carefully planned exercise to ensure New Jersey was prepared to defend the homeland. While the feared invasion did not become reality, the story of New Jersey's vigilance serves as a reminder of the uncertainties faced by coastal communities during wartime. In the face of an unseen enemy, New Jersey stood resilient, a testament to the nation's readiness to protect its shores. The events of that day echo through history, highlighting courage and preparedness that defined the American spirit during the early days of World War II. This video is sponsored by ISP Tech. Back up internet for your home, vacation home, or business. Don't let power or internet outages get in your way. For more information, visit isptech.co or visit the link in the description below.